Public health and sustainable food production are facing a serious global threat today. It's the increasing spread of antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance refers to bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites that have grown immune to antibiotics. Some of these antimicrobial resistant bacteria are called superbugs, who are resistant to most of the antibiotics. In the year 2050, deaths by superbugs is estimated to kill more humans than cancer. Superbugs are spreading across the world rapidly. This is due to the natural evolution of the microbes over time and the indiscriminate use of antibiotics in humans, agriculture and aquaculture. Aquaculture is one of the global industries where antibiotics are used indiscriminately in order to control vibriosis. An estimated 90% of vibrios in saltwater aquaculture have grown resistant to at least one type of conventional antibiotic. An estimated 20% are resistant to at least 5 antibiotics. The antibiotics cannot discriminate between the good and the bad bacteria. Thus the use of antibiotics makes the shrimp less appetizing. An optimal strategy would be to destroy pathogenic bacteria without destroying the beneficial bacteria. Thankfully, nature has been doing this for over 3 billion years using bacteriophages. There are more phages on earth than any other organism. And they are probably everywhere living things exist. Billions are on your hands, in your intestines and on your eyelids right now. Up to 40% of all ocean bacteria are killed by them every day. And phages specialize. Usually, a phage has chosen one bacteria and some of its close relatives. These are its prey. Imagine a phage is like a cruise missile that only hunts and kills members of one unlucky family. When a phage finds its victim, it connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture its surface. And with a weird motion, the phage injects its genetic material into the bacteria and the bacteria is taken over within seconds. The bacteria is now forced to manufacture all the parts for new phages. They only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages. In the final step, they produce endolysin, a powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. New phages are released and begin the cycle anew. In the last few years, phages have enjoyed attention as a natural alternative to antibiotics. In an attempt to combat antimicrobial resistance, scientists are rigorously working with bacteriophages to provide natural solutions to pathogens and decrease dependence on antibiotics. Aristogene Biosciences is one company consisting of such scientists who have extensively researched phage technology and manufactured bacteriophage-based products such as Elixir and VibrioShield for control of vibriosis, which is a cause of major mortality in cultured shrimp. Elixir, a phage biotic formulation for the control of vibriosis in aquaculture, is a mixture of potent bacteriophages which kills only the vibrios without harming the beneficial bacteria. Several field trials have reported increase in survivability, decrease in vibrio counts in shrimp, and better quality yields. Elixir is fed to the shrimp at the rate of 5 grams per kg of feed, one meal per day. The calculated quantity of elixir is mixed with the feed using a proven non-toxic binder and dried in shade for 30 minutes. It is then broadcasted as per usual practice. Vibrio Shield is an all-natural, non-chemical, antimicrobial preparation for controlling the vibriosis in the hatchery. The active ingredients of Vibrio Shield are 
naturally occurring bacteriophages that selectively and specifically kill Vibrios. Vibrio shield is loaded with high concentration of potent bacteriophages that can eliminate Vibrios from the culture ensuring higher yield and profitability. Vibrio shield is to be applied to the larval rearing tanks at the rate of 5 ppm on alternate days. Contents of the packet are to be added to 500 ml of water in a container and mixed well. Add the suspension to the tank after filtering the sediment using a sterile bag up to mysis stage. The suspension of Vibrio shield can be directly added to the tank during larval stages. Five ppm of Vibrio shield is to be applied to the tanks 12 hours before the arrival of brood stock. Upon arrival of brood stock, five ppm of Vibrio shield should be applied again. 2.5 ppm of Vibrio shield should be applied to the tank daily after water exchange. I am uh, Mr. M. J. Srinivas, a production manager at Samudra Hatcheries. A few years back, most of the antibiotics are banned and some are permitted. But uh, due to these health issues and so many problems coming now, so we totally, I mean in India, totally in India and all over, all over, they banned antibiotics. So nobody is supposed to use antibiotic and this is a challenging factor to us to get a production without antibiotics. Whatever the probiotics we are using, they are not directly affect on any bacterial problems or particularly Vibrio which is the threat to the aqua field. So most of the probiotics are indirectly acting in the uh, field. Vibrio shield is a product what very innovative product and I believe, strongly believe, right from beginning we are using and uh, since Vibrio, Vibrio problem is the major threat to the aquaculture, it is directly affecting, directly affecting to the Vibrio and uh, I think from beginning this time doing trial and error, initially we done trial and error, we got a very good results and from day on, day one onwards, I think uh, we are continuously using the product and we are getting a good results. In our hatchery, we are having a microbiology lab. Here, we are cross-checking everything before using brush shield and after using brush shield. We are getting very excellent uh, results. Hi, this is Nishant Reddy. Uh, I am a farmer based in Nellur, Andhra Pradesh. We have been using uh, Vibrio Shield and Elixir over the last one year. The results uh, for Elixir and Vibrio Shield have been promising. We have done several field trials uh, in the farm as well as nursery. And we have an in-house laboratory where we test the Vibrio levels of each nursery and the ponds uh, where we used Elixir and Vibrio Shield and we have found promising results. So this is a half cage Vibrio shield packet. So we basically apply it in uh, a 5 to 10 liters of water. Apply. So we apply it this way. Mix it. So this is how we spray it uh, in the nursery. Uh, we basically check uh, feeding through the scoop net. So we can see the animals here. So animals are very healthy. Good intake of uh, feed and flock. No, no no signs of vibrio, no signs of stress. They are around 1.5 grams and uh, there are no underfeeding signs. So animals look very healthy with, uh, with the treatment of uh, phage biotics. Hi, my name is Chilakur Praveen Kumar Reddy. My name is Chilakur Praveen Kumar Reddy, Varigunda village, Nellur district, Andhra Pradesh. This is my request to Echo Farmers. I am doing Venami farming for several years. The reason for my success is using a probiotic called Elixir. Main problem in Venami farming is Vibrio load. We get white fecal matter and loose shell because of high Vibrio load. The only solution for this is Elixir. We can control Vibrio load 
by using elixir at 5 grams per kg feed. I am using elixir in the nursery right now. I request all the farmers to use elixir for better results.